Welcome back, carb market people. You're back with carb market Pokemon. Today, I've got the top six sleep up budget cards from Chillin' Rain. Chillin' Rain has just come out. It's an amazing set. Over 200 cards. And there are some awesome looking cards and some awesome playable cards. So today, I thought, let's run through the best ones that are the best of both worlds. Some that look really nice and some that are pretty playable too. And some meet in the middle. So let's get started with our number six. <laughs> So coming in at number six, we have Rapid Strike Malamar. Extremely playable card and a pretty cool looking card as well. Let me tell you why it's extremely playable. It's the 100 HP stage one Pokemon with the awesome attack Rapid Strike Tentacle. So it is a Rapid Strike card. And what it does for one energy, you can reveal as many Rapid Strike cards from your hand. You do 40 for each one you reveal and you shuffle them back into that. So it's very similar to like the Bicephalon that we've seen, which is a similar attack but for fire energy. But the key difference here is that this Malamar shuffles the shuffle these cards back into deck. So you can keep reusing this attack over and over. I'm looking here on card market, I can see some going for as little as five pence. This is insane. You can just literally rapid strike tentacles, knock out V Maxes, tag teams, all in one hit, all for one energy. What is not to like about this Malamar? And that's why it's our number six pick. Coming in at number five, we have the scary Gen 1 legendary Pokemon himself, Tornadus VMAX. Coming in on card market about three euros, I can see here. What is not to love about this card? Again, extremely cool looking. The way he's sort of clutching at that wind and it's flying around, it just looks Pretty cool if you ask me, but not only that, it's extremely playable too. Let me tell you why. So for four energy, you've got that max wind spirit attack, which is 120 damage plus 120 if there is a stadium in play. So with stuff like single strike energy and powerful energy, we can get that number nice and high to where we might start threatening one shots again. A legendary Pokemon, that's a V Max, that does big damage in Okos. That sounds pretty good to me. I want that in my binder, especially at about three euros. I will be getting some in my binder. That is a really cool card. It's not going to rotate anytime soon. It will look stunning in your binder too. And that's why my number five pick. Right, so for our number four pick, I actually couldn't believe how cheap it was considering it's the poster boy of the set. We got ourselves Ice Rider Calyrex V. <laughs> Uh, the regular art coming in on card market at as low as two euros, which is absolutely incredible, really, when you think about it. Really cool looking card. So we got ourselves Calyrex the first time Calyrex has ever had cards. And this is the very first Ice Rider version as well. What's not to love? Now, again, this will look fantastic in your binder. It will match really nicely with any ETB sleeves that you might have knocking about. And don't forget, you can get ETBs at card market too. And yeah, it's just a very cool looking card. I like the angles of the Spectral, I believe. The Spectral, I believe it's called. With the eyes coming up there, you got the you got Calyrex holding his little icicle sword. It's just a very cool looking card. And it's one of those cards where I think as um, IRL tournaments start to come back, this card will go up in value. So I think now is a good time to maybe pick some up either for your collection or for your playing collection, either way, it's gonna look good in your binder and it's gonna look good on a play mat. So I reckon you should pick some up, to be honest with you. Coming in at number three, actually, might be my favorite looking card from this top six, because I like the color purple and I like the color pink. So we're gonna rock out with the Cresselia, but not the normal one. No, 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 no. We're gonna rock with the pre-release promo. I think this card is absolutely stunning. 
That's right, you're correctly. Stunning. Let's just have a look at it. So you can see the Cresselia there flying around. I just love the contrast of like the yellow head on the moon bit of Cresselia. Then you've got like, the pink wings and the sort of blue. Just looks very aesthetically pleasing, eh? But not only that, you can see the darkness in the background, the night sky. You can actually see a moon in the background as well. And either some clouds or some water there. It just looks amazing. It's actually also a card that I'm lucky enough to own in real life. See if we can get that to focus, hold on. Yeah, look, as you can see, that is an amazing looking card. This will be sitting pretty in my binder, don't get me wrong. But again, not only is it good for the binder, because this card will get played in loads of decks. Uh, Green's Trevenar, but mostly, any Shadow Rider list, because that Crescent Glow attack is really good for getting Psychic Energy into play whilst also doubling up as a sort of non-V or non-GX attacker with that Photon Laser, which is really good at getting through stuff like Alteria and stuff like Decidueye. I adore Cresselia. Such a cool-looking card. I'm glad that they've got a super playable one in the format. And again, this is a card that's only going to go up. Pre-release promos only get more expensive with time for the most part, especially when they're playable. So if I was you, if you're looking to play, or you just want one for your binder, because again, it looks gorgeous, make sure you pick you know, one or two up, really, you know, because, my lord, it might be it might be more expensive later on down the road. Okay, for our number two pick, if you've been watching all the car market Pokemon videos, you'll know that when I cracked open a Chilling Rain booster box, I packed, well, ting! Alternate Art Moltres V, an absolutely gorgeous card, and it might be my favourite card in the set. Now, obviously, that can't be on this list because <laughs> it's pretty expensive. But I'm not going to lie to you. Not only does that Moltres look absolutely amazing and menacing, but this Full Art 2 is equally as gorgeous. I love that sort of black contrast with that deep, dark red. Just... Oh! But unfortunately, that can't be on this list too. But luckily for Galarian Moltres V... The regular art is also extremely gorgeous as well. This card, now it must just be Moltres, just such, such an aesthetically pleasing Pokemon, like I said, with that black and that dark red flame pattern, just looks amazing again. I like the way you can see the sort of like darkness energy, I guess, on the talons and Moltres is coming through again. An extremely, extremely good looking card. But again, not only that, because here I want to provide you as much value as possible. If you're a collector and you want nice cards for your binder, then this would be a good card for you to pick up. Because if it goes in your binder, it looks really nice. And then all of a sudden you think, hmm, maybe I want to actually give this game a go. You can then whip this ball chest straight back out the binder because it's extremely playable. If you play it in the Eternatus list, which is currently like a tier one deck, this can go straight in there for that Dire Flame Wings ability, which lets you get one Dark Energy from the discard pile and attach it to this Pokemon. This is really good at opening up tempo plays with energy switch and stuff like this. So again, like double value, isn't it? It can look good in your binder and it can look good on the play map. What is not to love about Galarian Moltres V? And again, I can see this when organized play starts up again. I can see the price going up and then you're going to regret it thinking, you might be look watching this video like, man, that Moltres is looking real good. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'll give it a miss and maybe you'll see it a couple more down the road. But you know what? That Moltres was actually a really cool card. Let's get it in for the binder or to play with. And you see the price and you think, no, should have bought it earlier. Well, I think it's a really good card, and that's why I've got it in at my number two. But my number one pick here for our best budget sleeper cards from Chilling Rain is this Celebi V Full Art. Now, this Celebi V Full Art, I like colorful things, in case you didn't know. And this Celebi is an amazing looking card. Just the way it sort of pops from that really cool green, pink, orangey star shiny background, I think just looks amazing. Not only that, but not only that, again, keeping the theme of this video, Celebi V with that leaflet dance could actually see a little bit of play, letting you attach grass energies from your hand to your Pokemon. It also has a V Max in this set, which again is equally almost made it on this list, not gonna lie to you, a pretty good budget option. So again, if you wanna get this for the collection and later on down the road you decide you wanna start trying to play, you have yourself a nice shiny V Max to use. But not only that, like let's not beat around the bush. This is a full art legendary V card, all right? And we all know deep down we all like 
having the full arts and alternate arts where he can, right? And this coming in at about 13 euro, I think is a very, very good value budget option for you collectors and potentially you players as well. So let me know what you think. Leave in the comments what other top six uh, topics we can do. I'll be happy to have a look. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for us as well at this card market channel. Come on, let's go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.